All right. I honestly feel almost bad about this one. It's too easy. Susan, you asked me if you should be doing Taekwondo for self-defense. I got to tell you, I think you should try something a little more fitting for someone over the age of, let's say, 9 or 10 years old. So every time I do one of these videos about a martial art that I think is just useless for actual street fighting or actual combat, I get purists of all shapes and colors and sizes and forms coming to me and saying, you're a freaking idiot. And I'm like, I don't really care, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to keep it respectful about Taekwondo. And the reason is it's a very old martial art. And it's something that was very popular in like the 1970s. You know, like a lot of our parents may have studied it or whatever. And that was back when like the world didn't know as much about fighting. It was a new thing. It was like kicky, flashy, like kick him in the head. Cha. All right. Well, that's great. Like if you study Taekwondo and you get really good at it, and like you go beyond the black belt level, then maybe one day if you get lucky, you will be able to kick someone in the head if they attack you. Uh, you better hope that they're not trained. You better hope that you get the exact right timing and get them in the head or whatever, or, you know, are able to kick them in the chest and then they just fall down from there. But nowadays, okay, people don't fight like this no more. It's not really the same deal. So Taekwondo has kind of gone by the wayside. Now with this being said, um, if you were a professional martial, martial artist, a cage fighter, perhaps a stunt man, something like that, um, just, a, you know, someone that, you know, it really dedicates their self, their life to the martial arts for more than just combatants, for more than self-defense, for more than fighting, for more than surviving in an austere environment, then I'd say absolutely. If you're flexible, if you're younger or whatever, and you, you think that this would be cool to study to get your kicks better, 100%. There's nothing wrong with studying Taekwondo to get good at, you know, kicking, to get good high kicks and all of that Jean-Claude Van Damme crap. But if you're legitimately looking for something for self-defense, well, I made videos about this before. Don't study freaking crap, baga. Study boxing, all right? Study some wrestling, do some Muay Thai, something practical like that. We are actually going to get some experience in sparring. It would be very good. You know, even Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is fine, but... Again, that takes a lot of time to really get good at. So if you're going to dedicate the time, then I say do that. Not the boxing doesn't take time, but I'm really very adamant about having people choose the right form, the right system of self-defense that's best for them. And obviously, you know, we here at Gutter Fighting Secrets are all about gutter fighting. We've even created a system called Modern Gutter Fighting, available at gutterfightingsecrets.com, or at least a Portions of it are available for online instruction, go to fightingsecrets.com. But that's kind of the best way for amateur people that don't really want to put a lot of work into martial arts. And why would you, if you're busy with other shit, uh, to learn how to fight? You know, they'll, we'll teach you how to chin jab, teach you how to do some basic grappling stuff and survive, right? Survive through a violent attack, hopefully. And not, I'll be honest with you, like you can't guarantee anybody's safety because sometimes the guy's just bigger than you. And he knows how to fight. Sometimes the stars don't align right. And you get your freaking ass kicked. It happens. Okay. But I guarantee you this. If you go and you study freaking Taekwondo. And I don't even know the belt systems. But I would assume it's like white, yellow, green, something like that. If you go and get like your green belt. And then you think, you're going to think this. You're going to think, oh, I could just kick him in the face. And then boom, you get socked in the face or boom, you get grabbed up and dumped on the ground. Well, your dreams are going to come down in a, a fiery crash and you're probably going to get hurt. So don't do that. It's really not appropriate for anybody but kids because kids are flexible like that. Kids are like, they don't actually need to know how to fight, but they like, you know, the whole like ninja turtle type deal. And I don't know what kids, I don't think kids actually care about this shit anymore because they're all soft, but I, I think kids like that stuff, right? And they want to go and they, it's good for the discipline and, you know, us, all of that. I think that's karate. But all of that type of stuff, right? Look, the punching in Taekwondo, you punch like this. Who the freaking hell punches like you come at me punching like that in a street fight? 
Or should I say you come at anybody punching like that in a street fight who's ever boxed, we'll just punch you in the damn nose and be done with it. Like it's not, you know, it's not a thing. Like it's it's just it's ridiculous, is what it is. Now, again, I can appreciate the art for what it is. It's an art. All right. It's a it's an old, it's a way of keeping history in the past alive. And it is good for kicking. Again, if you are a cage fighter and you want to get good at head kicks or something like that, well, sure, go ahead and do it. Again, I have a friend who's a stuntman, and he's got a extensive Taekwondo background. And he does a lot of flashy, you know, spinning jump kicks and stuff, and it looks great on the screen. It looks great for the movies. It looks fantastic. But when you're actually trying to pull off one of those jumping kicks, and the guy does just fall over because he's getting paid to do it, well, I can tell you this from experience, it doesn't work, okay? One of the first street fights I was ever in, you know, I studied karate as a kid, okay, for a while. And uh, one of the first actual, like, like bar fight, street fights I was ever in, I don't know why the hell I did this, but I tried to pull off, like, a jumping kick at the guy. All he did was step back, and I, like, landed awkwardly, and I fucked my ankle up. And it was embarrassing, all right? And I'm not afraid to say that, because I don't got shit to prove, but... Yeah, that's good. That's the type of thing that can happen when you just get too full of yourself. That I study Taekwondo. Watch out. Like, all right, buddy. It's it's important to me that I'm respectful of the art for what it is, but I'm going to be honest with you. Please, Susan, don't study Taekwondo for self-defense because there's no self-defense involved in it. It's really just um, – it's good for point matches. Like if you want to learn Taekwondo and then – you know, get good at it and then go and fight in, in um, point fighting competitions. That's cool. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I follow uh, on Instagram this one chick who is a professional point fighting Taekwondo um, martial artist. She's hot. That's why I follow her. But honestly, she's cool, too. Like, she she does this, like, for profession, professionally. And I've seen her fights. She does very well. And it can be a... It can be a, a system that you are able to defend yourself with if, okay, if you mix it with the proper stuff. If you learn how to box or learn Muay Thai, and then you also study Taekwondo, sure, absolutely. You can be, you could be pretty lethal potentially, right? Because you know how to angle off, you know how to slip and, and duck and all that stuff. You know how, you know how to utilize your footwork and you know how to throw a damn punch. But when it comes down to it, if you do find yourself in that range, that kicking range, well, then you can also pop a motherfucker in the head with a high kick, which knocks somebody out. Trust me, I've been there. Uh, I've been kicked in the head sparring in Muay Thai, and it sucks. So, yeah, it's effect like it can can be effective, but you have to know other stuff. And that's why I say if you're a lifelong martial artist or, you know, a martial arts enthusiast and you want to study Taekwondo to supplement some of your other stuff, have at it. I'm not going to knock Taekwondo for what it is, kind of a flashy kicking art. But please don't go out there and think, I need to defend myself on the streets these days. Times are crazy. People are getting killed and robbed on the streets. I'll study Taekwondo and be fine because I guarantee you, you won't. Um, you won't. Now, I'm not saying you need to learn with our system. There's other systems out there. And I made a video recently about Lee Morrison's um, Urban Combatives. There's also Kelly McCann. Uh, those two guys are guys I can wholeheartedly recommend. And again, you know, any of the hard sparring arts, such as boxing, wrestling, although who the fuck wrestles at like, <laughs> I'm 36. Nobody wrestles at 36. It's like a high school thing. Or jujitsu, people do jujitsu. Uh, or box, I said boxing, Muay Thai, right? Any of those hard sparring arts are great. And uh, there's other arts out there. Don't, I think I said it before, don't do Krav Maga because they'll whip you off for your money. But uh, if you need um, advice on what systems that I would recommend that are like commercially available out there, hey, drop it in the comment below. I can make a video all about that. But I'm just going to warn you right now. Don't do freaking Taekwondo for self-defense. Only do it if you're a lifelong martial artist who also wants to improve his kicking. I hope that's helpful, Susan. I appreciate your question to me. I appreciate the email. And uh, again, if you want any further advice, let us know in the comments down below and we'll get right, right back to you as soon as we get the time. Until next time, guys, hey, listen, go check out our website, gutterfightingkickers.com. You can learn World War II combatives direct from the comfort of your own home, all right? These videos are very fairly priced. 
You can start from A to B to go to Z, or you can start at Z and go to X, whatever. It doesn't matter. They're, they're in an order, but it doesn't matter what order you watch them in because our knife defense videos are great. Our knife offense videos are great if you want to actually learn how to use a knife, and I'll just leave it at that. They're all great. If you want to learn empty hand World War II combatives and learn how to draw chin jab and all that stuff, be my guest. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I will see you in one of our next videos. Cheers, guys.